This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone glorify the use of drugs. How's it going, everyone? I'm Loki Fish, and in this video, we're overcoming the hormone known as DHEA. This is a precursor to testosterone in men and estrogen in women. DHEA is the most abundant natural steroid hormone in the human body. I'll go over anything you'd want to know, including the benefits, side effects, dosage, how it works, my personal experience with it, and everything else in between. Let's get into it. DHEA is a steroid hormone made from cholesterol and has the ability to activate both androgen and estrogen receptors. Your body uses DHEA to create both testosterone and estrogen, which are the two main hormones in males and females. DHEA is naturally produced primarily in the adrenal glands, with levels peaking in early adulthood and gradually declining as you get older. Levels are at their highest in your 20s and steadily decline by roughly 10% every decade. Once you hit your 70s, your levels will be much lower than what they were at their peak. I wish I was 50 years younger and I'd kick your ass. By that age, your body may only have 10 to 20% of DHEA compared to the amount you had at your peak. This is unlike most other hormones because your levels of DHEA decline extensively as you age. Some experts believe that DHEA is directly linked to the process of aging. We're all getting older, sir. For example, DHEA improves the appearance of younger looking skin as well as slowing the rate that your brain cells die. DHEA is directly correlated with how the brain executes certain functions such as concentration and working memory. Moreover, DHEA is utilized by people seeking anti-aging benefits and as a way to enhance their physical performance. If you're experiencing constant fatigue, stress, decreased libido, or frequently struggle with depression or mood issues, there's a good chance that your body is not producing enough DHEA and you have a deficiency. DHEA plays a role in a variety of physiological processes. It's involved in the production of sex hormones, helps regulate the immune system, and has impacts on metabolism and energy levels. It's also believed to have potential effects on mood, cognitive function, and overall well-being. If you supplement with DHEA, it is likely that you have a noticeable boost in motivation and determination determination, particularly if your levels were initially low. Numerous athletes utilize DHEA to enhance their muscle mass, strength, and energy. Yeah. However, due to several factors regarding the increase in testosterone and hormonal output, many prominent sports organizations such as the NCAA, NFL, NBA, and Olympic community have prohibited the use of it and deemed it as a banned substance. In 2007, the US Congress made an attempt to reclassify DHEA as a prescription-only anabolic steroid drug. Fortunately, the legislation never went through and DHEA remains available as an over-the-counter supplement in the United States. Although in Canada, DHEA is categorized as a drug and can only be obtained with a prescription. Technically, it is a steroid, which is why it's included in the list of performance enhancing drugs or PEDs. Personally, I use DHEA when my energies are abnormally low and I feel exhausted for no reason. I feel that when I take it, I am mentally sharper and my thoughts come to me faster. My mind is clear and I'm sharp as a tack. In a way, it allows me to feel more like myself and puts me in a good mood. I also find that it gives me a higher tolerance when dealing with stress. This feeling in particular is somewhat similar to ashwagandha in how it provides me with an increased capacity to handle stress. When I take DHEA, more times than not, I'll stack with pregnenolone because pregnenolone is the precursor to DHEA and theoretically they work together to be more efficient. I used to supplement with DHEA fairly frequently but I'm still pretty young and my natural DHEA levels are not that low to begin with so it didn't really make sense for me to continue taking it on a frequent basis. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The main reason that prompted me to slow down my usage is that I would start to break out and get tons of hormonal acne all over my face. Basically, I would consistently break out with zits all over my cheeks and chin when I regularly used DHEA. Plus, I was on Accutane for a while too, and even when I was on Accutane, I would still get pimples that were induced by DHEA. He's so ugly! So if you're already prone to acne and are fairly young, it's good to be aware of this when supplementing with DHEA. Furthermore, DHEA is not recommended for anyone under the age of 18. This is because when you're a kid, your hormone levels are still developing and you definitely want to limit how much you modify them. I've started taking hormones. Hormones? If your hormone levels are normal and you start supplementing with DHEA, you could experience potential side effects such as acne, hair loss, the formation of tumors, or having difficulty sleeping. This is why younger people don't really need to supplement with DHEA as much as older people do. The recommended dosage is 25 to 50 milligrams per day. For most adults, a dose of 50 milligrams by mouth daily has been indicated to be safe for up to one year. 25 milligrams has been used safely for up to two years. When exceeding doses of 100 milligrams, DHEA has been linked to side effects. Many experts advise against high doses or prolonged usage. Some even recommend to cycle DHEA for a month and then take a month off. Wax on, wax off. 
Interestingly enough, DHA helps improve how neurons use ATP, which serves as the main energy source for our brain. By optimizing ATP, DHA can increase the speed of how we think and boost our overall energy levels. Coenzyme Q10 can also contribute to this process. CoQ10 is an enzyme found in every single cell of your body and plays a vital role in how we generate energy and go about our daily activities. Watch this video next on everything you need to know about CoQ10 and how it is necessary for our mitochondria to create energy. ATP is extremely important for life in general and CoQ10 will literally boost your energy levels in an organic way. My name is Fish and I stay low key. Peace out.